हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू रिटारगेट कॉमन यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम आमोद एंड आई एम गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद अनदर वीडियो इन दिस एसोड एंड टू एंड फ्रेमवर्क प्लेलिस्ट सो इन द टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट ए मेवन प्रोजेक्ट इन इंटेलिजे बट बिफोर डैट आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू विच जावा वर्जन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज सो फॉर दिस प्ले लिस्ट और फॉर दिस फ्रेमवर्क आई एम गोइंग टू यूज जावा इलेवन एज ऑफ नाउ जावा नाइनटीन इज द लेटेस्ट वर्जन आई थिंक If you go to Java download downloads, you can see Java 19 is the latest version. But I'm going to use Java 11 because I think after Java 8, Java 11, Java 11 is the most stable version. So if you see here on the Oracle official website, you will not see the option to download Java 11. So for that, you need to go to Java archive and go here, and you can see previous Java release, and here you can install. Java 11 from here. So installing JDK is the simple task, and I I purposefully I don't want to cover the installation of JDK and IntelliJ as part of this uh, playlist. If maybe in future I can create a separate video on the installation of JDK and IntelliJ, but this is really simple. You just need to go to this link and try to download the Java 11. Or JDK 11, and you just need to set the path. If you are, if you have already installed JDK 8 in your system, so you just need to update the path to point it to Java 11. But use Java 11 as of now because Java 8 is again like old one, and there are so many features have been added in Java 11. So we should be aware of those features now because we cannot keep telling that I am using the Java 8, Java 8, Java 8 everywhere. So it's time to upgrade. and even the latest version of tsng will also require java 11 and even in jenkins also require java 11 now okay so better to use java 11 then after installing jdk you should install intellij idea community version you can see from this link you can download for windows or mac whatever operating system you have you can go and download the exe from here and you can install it so once you have installed and set up the jdk path and all But still, if you face any issue, please comment on this video. I will surely help. So launch the IntelliJ, and what I'm going to do first, if you want to do some customization, you can do like if you want to increase the font size, so you can increase it from here. You can change your theme as well, and uh, leave about the plugins as of now. So go to project and click on new project. I want to create Maven, and I want to use Java 11. Okay, so I I also have 1.8, but I am going to use Java 11. So I select the Java 11, and uh, it is already Maven, which is build tool. You can use the Gradle also. So maybe in another video I can show you with the Gradle as well. But for this framework, I am going to use the Maven. Click on next. So here need to give the name. So I should think of some better name. So I will name it based on the the target common and uh, this is your framework. So let me name it as So I have named this project as the Target Common REST API Automation Framework. Mm -hmm. Automatically, the location will be in C drive, and let me click on Finish. As soon as you create the project, you do some indexing. It will uh, read some configuration. It will simply set up your project. Okay. So as you can see. Since it is a main project, so we will have pom dot xml, and we know that in pom dot xml we need to mention the dependencies which we are going to use in this project. Okay, so let me minimize the idea and let it be pom dot xml only, and let me minimize this. I am going to increase the font size also. So for that, I need to use double shift and increase font size. Here you can see it's said a Maven compiler source and targets Maven because we are going to use the Java 11. Now, what are the dependencies we need to use? First thing, we we are creating a REST SQL framework. So first thing we need to use REST SQL dependency. So for that, let me go to Google and search for Maven Central Repository. and i will try to use all the latest version of all the dependencies so that if you watch this video after one year two years also then it should not be that much outdated but i will try to update my framework with the latest dependencies later as well 
so i will search this assured and here it is version and you can see 5.3.0 is the latest let me copy it and uh, paste it here so first we need to have the dependencies tag inside this we need to have dependency okay then tcng i'm going to use the latest one and we need json parser so for that i will use json data bind so let me copy the latest one and let me and also i'm going to use google json so this is the dependency i will copy the dependency of json as well and as explained i am going to use extend report for this framework so let me add the dependency of extend framework as well and for here also i am going to use the latest one which will be 5 i need java faker api also so let me add the dependency of java faker i am i am i also need to use lombok so let me add the dependency of data as well and also i want to use apache common lang library so that i can use some utilities from there so let me add the dependency of that as well so here uh, from this last video whatever dependency i think that can be used in my framework i just added here later maybe we need to require or we need to add more dependencies but that will be on usage okay but from my experience i can understand or i can think that these dependencies might be useful for useful for my framework so i have added that as the beginning So here I've added all the dependencies. If you see any dead mark, like if it says that it, it is not able to find the dependencies, simply go here, open the Maven toolbar, click on this, click on this reload all Maven projects. So automatically it will download all the dependencies. I am done with the adding the dependency in my Maven project. So let me improve it little bit. If you see here, we are missing the version with the uh library name here right group id everything here for a for all the dependencies we have done the same thing but in real time or in the industry level framework there might be many dependency we need to add and it might be a long list here okay so what we can do instead of mentioning the version here what you can do inside the property we can create variable and we can assign that so that if you want to change the version in future you can come here and simply change here so for example, for the races, so instead of mentioning the dependency here, I will copy this dependency. I'll go to under properties tag and I will create race assured dependency or race assured version. Okay. And, and I will paste this one. So, and this variable I can use here. okay so you can see it is reading this version so there are so many advantage of using this properties there are many library libraries where you need to use the similar version so you just need to update at one place and i will remove this scope tag same thing i am going to do for the tcng and other things so let me do it quickly So as you can see, I have added the properties for each version and the same variable name I am using with the dependency instead of mentioning or hard coding the dependency here. So that's all in this video. I've just created a Maven project and I have added the required dependencies. This is just the setup. So if you have any doubt, please comment on this video. If you really like my videos, please like, comment, subscribe and share with others. 
थैंक यू एवरीवन